Hello, everyone. This is Michelle. Thank you for participating in this practice event. Last week, I asked each team to make your decision, and right now, uh, it's time to look at your performance in this simulation game. Hotel One, Hotel Four, and Hotel Six do not make any room revenue and food and beer revenue because your team didn't complete assignment. You didn't input your decision in the system, so the system cannot generate the room's revenue or food and beer revenue for you. In terms of the expenses, the system still assume you have this hotel and your hotel has the fixed cost. So even though you didn't sell anything, your hotel, um, your hotel have these um, fixed expenses. So uh, let's take a look at the bottom of this income summary. Uh, so you start to lose money. Uh, hotel one, hotel four, and hotel six, you lose money. So uh, please remember, by every Sunday midnight uh, in the following weeks, uh, make sure you complete these decision assignments. Otherwise, uh, you won't be able to win this game. Congratulate to Hotel 3, you make the most room revenue and food and beer revenue. And followed by Hotel 7. So uh, let's take a look at the expenses. Hotel 2 uh, has the highest expenses, and then Hotel 3 has the highest food and beer expenses. For Hotel 3, it's okay because you have the higher revenue, you sell more rooms, you sell more food and beer um, stuff, so um, your expenses will automatically uh, become higher. But for Hotel 2, uh, maybe you can consider uh, to reduce your expenses a little bit. Take a look at the marketing expenses. Hotel 5 has the highest um, marketing expenses. Um, this is much higher than uh, other hotels. This is generally okay because uh, you want to uh, do more uh, marketing campaigns in order to attract more customer. So usually uh, while you are doing the marketing campaign, you won't be able to uh, see the result immediately. So not in this uh, quarter, maybe in next quarter, uh, you will see the increase uh, in your revenue. So same thing here in the property uh, operation and maintenance. Uh, for Hotel 5, uh, you spend money to do the uh, remodel renovation, uh, improve the facility. So uh, it takes time um, to complete the renovation and while you are working on that, you cannot open your restaurant or open some rooms uh, to the customer. So uh, during this uh, quarter, during this time period, uh, you won't be able to see the direct revenue increase and, and sometimes you will see the decrease of your revenue, but it's worth for that because in the next following quarters, you will see uh, the increase of the uh, revenue. So this is the trade-off uh, you need to think about. And if you do want to improve your property, uh, it's better to do that earlier. So uh, in the following quarters, uh, you can get benefit from that rather than you wait for the last quarter of the competition and uh, uh, you won't see the result, the increase of your revenue immediately. Um, to see the uh, net profit, uh, Hotel 3 uh, is the winner. So this is the um, comparison uh, for your monthly summary income. And uh, very important uh, in this simulation game, uh, they produce a balance scorecard uh, summary. So uh, in this balance scorecard uh, framework, uh, your hotel's performance uh, is evaluated by four aspects. First one is your market share. So uh, that means the number of rooms uh, you sold uh, compared to other uh, competitors. So the more rooms you sold, uh, the better uh, market share. And uh, the higher the rep par or the higher the um, total rep par means uh, your, your hotel has um, better uh, market competitiveness. And uh, for the finance part, um, this uh, balance forecast uh, look at your GOP net profit and the ROE and management fees. So um, 
So ROE, uh, this is your uh, owner's uh, equity. So uh, in the finance part, um, the hotel make money and uh, an owner uh, make money. And uh, uh, the third aspect is your customer satisfaction. So the good hotels uh, will satisfy the customers um, through better room service, uh, better customer service, and better facilities. So um, your investment, your expenses in the room renovation or facility renovation and better service will definitely uh, relate to these aspects. And the last part is your uh, employee's engagement. So uh, this will relate to your employee staffing level, how many employees you schedule to um, serve during the time, or the, uh, em uh, the employees' uh, skills, um, and uh, the payments, the salary payment uh, for the uh, hotels. So congratulate to Hotel 3 again. Um, you uh, have the highest uh, rep par, the highest total rep par, and uh, uh, RGI. So this is good. And for Hotel 2, um, you have the highest uh, room market share. Yeah, so uh, why this happened is your Hotel 2, um, you charge the room rate is lower than Hotel 3, so um, you can improve your occupancy by lowering your rate. But uh, think about your uh, net revenue and uh, the total revenue, uh, Hotel 3, uh, doing bad job um, because you make more money. So this is a balance uh, we need to think about. Um, do you really want a more market share but the lower rate or you try to um, keep the higher rate? And the financial aspects, uh, Hotel 3 has the highest net profit and the highest uh, um, owner's uh, return of equity. So this is good. So in terms of the GOP, uh, Hotel 7 has the highest GOP. Um, for customer satisfaction, uh, I think Hotel 3 and Hotel 5, you have more uh, investment in the facilities. So you get the higher uh, customer uh, satisfaction with these aspects. And let's take a look at the staffing uh, level. So Hotel 7, you have the highest staffing level. Um, but is this necessary? Uh, you can think about uh, the best uh, staffing level should be around uh, 100 or a little bit above 100. So uh, if you have extremely high uh, staffing level, you may increase your uh, expenses as well. So, so it's not always a good thing to have more stuff there. You need to uh, think about a reasonable uh, number uh, to staff your uh, employees. And the competency relates to your uh, employees training and uh, uh, Hotel 5 uh, doing good job in this area. So um, you will see Hotel 5 have the uh, high, highest service uh, quality as well. So these two, your customer's service satisfaction and uh, uh, your employee's competence is related. Yeah, so overall, uh, in this uh, balance scorecard, you will see um, how each hotel performs. And then uh, Hotel 3 uh, is the winner for this um, practice event. Starting from next Monday, I will launch a new uh, official uh, competition. I will provide you a new uh, URL and uh, access code, and this will be a six week long um, practice. So please make sure you complete uh, every single decision requirement uh, in this simulation. So every week you need to make the decision and by Sunday uh, midnight, and um, I will show you your performance result as this uh, on Monday. And uh, you can uh, make the decision for next week again. Um, but each week, your performance will influence next week's uh, performance.
So if you miss any uh, decision uh, for the week and uh, you get zero uh, room revenue uh, and something like that, you will definitely uh, lose in the game at the end. So make sure to um, complete your decision assignment uh, by every Sunday. If you have any question related to this uh, simulation, uh, please feel free to email me. Thank you for your attention.